This is a poem called Silent Suffering. And uh, on it, I wrote a copyright symbol. <laughs> Than the mansion you found me in, than the desert marsh I found you in. Arms wide open to embrace you will be few, will be faced with the prospect of being stuck for eternity with a needy, clingy poet who will never let you go. And how does that make you feel, shapeshifter? Where will you go and what will you do? Pull up a chair, I hope, and sit down next to me with a spot of some perhaps powerful tea, and maybe we can work this all out. And can you please, please, please tell me? all the stories about all the things you have seen on the other side of my galaxy, so that over time my words then become your words, allowing me to fashion them into any vehicle I fancy. In turn, allowing this see-through barrel I hold over my head appear much easier to ride into that wormhole galleria, perpendicular to the snaking, puffy cloud of sativa riding its way down and across Franklin Street all the way to Brooklyn, but no, we skipped something the past few years, don't match up as well as I think they ought, and we're missing something, some bright, misguided hope that seemed endless when our greedy-ass Brigadoon was still off the map and under radar expedition ravings where love seemed possible up there on that dim, lit stage, but it got all overclocked somewhere down the way, like everyone was always in love with the wrong person, just having a hard enough time getting to the hookup until we finally got a convention of these beasts together, and that's when Quan and Maisha met and fell and are still falling and still going strong. And the truth is, the rest of this world falls to shit, but these two lovers are still together. It will all have been worth every damn bit of it because this is the kind of love that gives me more hope than I'd have a right to believe in. And if you'd only take a moment to look through these dazzled, beastly eyes, through the eyes of a conquered shadow man, then you would also love. Precious Lord to be sung by Mahalia Jackson, and I remember it being in the blood red church hymnal of my youth, but I don't ever remember the name Elvis Presley being printed in the hymnal as it is stated on the near database on which I found the lyrics. A French engineer was hired to deal with the scourge of sexually transmitted disease in Paris. The engineer's qualifications the design of the Paris solar system. <laughs> I remember watching my father free one, still flapping, as tender as every time I'd ever seen him hold my mother. <laughs> if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. <laughs> Says who? <laughs> Puns dipped in haiku. Mm. She rubs the silver lining around my third eye. Why the missing husband? Why the debt to the car? Why the real estate agents in their well-fitted suits? Why the crap driveway? Why the overgrown juniper? I was up all night and only three hours of sleep. I leave early before the sun rises, leaving the left pot of blood and saying thank you. As your eight-year-old child looking out from the inside of the car and wondering, where the fuck is my great-grandmother? These days, looms are hard to come by, so she traces pictures of the living world into tea leaves instead, twirling a top hat and damp threads of Darjeeling. Night as in boy, boy as in the lull of his fingers, promising what the rest of him could. And when he never came back, he as in the boy owning me for a night, or the boy I tried to become. I lie in bed, my jaw a gas stove swung open, which is to say a single text message could have been the spark destroying my home. If you use alcohol to get a yes from a person who should have said no to you sober, you are a predator. I really don't like hearing men read stories they wrote about broken women. Even more so, I really don't like hearing men read stories they wrote about broken women in sexual situations. Hmm. She hobbles over fissured slabs through the murder doves with a light in her chest and Jesus, a light in her heart and Jesus across the chest. 
Fruit bill. It's on fire! fire. I worry that the teenagers are crossing the street at a bend in the road and giggling instead of looking both ways. Not that they just bought some pot from the neighbors. That's what teenagers will do. And I have hardened to the random stranger who thinks they have the right, the right to touch me. <laughs> when my mom tells me we are pulled over at a safe way so I can pee before we walk, I'm several inches taller than her now and can see the top of her head. The next day, instead of talking about the heroic man randomly dressed as Batman, the media made jokes about how the man dressed as Batman was fat. Of course, if the album question wasn't specific to rap, I would have to say, the harder they come. I carry these songs in every part of my life, recognize the hunger and rebellion in all the music I most love. Bap and I are texting this because I just watched the movie Top 5, made by a comedian we saw together. He called us out the way he does, seeing through bullshit, had us rolling, holding our stomachs in the red velvet balcony. A link between us that I thought once would lead to marriage, but instead formed a friendship, friendship stronger in its expressions of love through music, through books, a love for revolution and sexual freedom. We share curiosity and an unwillingness to settle where I'm no longer a girlfriend trying to put him on lock, but his homegirl dishing advice on open relationships and sexual adventure, digging into crates and burning CDs. He hoards all my retired cassette tapes, and I can breathe knowing that library still exists in the world. Yet both of us date people who understand none of this. His top five, cock, big, Karis, one, Nas, Andre 3000, or Black Thought, he can't make up his mind, he texts me today to say two, but have to be <laughs> and say, that's good, but what about Melly Mel? He got me on this shit. He says, yeah, Melly Mel has to be in there because of the message. And I say, that's why I don't like to choose, because everyone knows where I came with God has to be in there. And here I go, unable to pick a favorite mate or a favorite rapper, always looking to sample, make a compilation of flavors and favors. And at least we share these moments. Revel in the high of music, the excitement of it, because that and friendship, Truth is, that shit outlasts marriage. Yeah.